Hello, everybody. It's another week. I'm pleased to say zero individuals have COVID. One colleague um, is isolating. And what do you know? We're still doing outbreak testing in one of the homes. It's now been five weeks. Do not get this at all. I, I don't know. I don't know who makes this rubbish decisions, but there we go. We have to live with it. OK, as we told everybody earlier this week, we have increased the loyalty attendance bonus for, by 2%. So it basically means that um, uh, one of our colleagues, a colleague you have worked six months um, without any unauthorized absences, you will be on 6%. That's pretty spectacular. And there's a reason why we have done this. Number one, we want to reward those colleagues, particularly who are always turning up to do their shifts. Because if people don't turn up to do their shifts, it is very, very disruptive to individuals. They don't get to do the activities they need to do and so on. And if they don't turn up, it's also very unfair on uh, colleagues because often colleagues have to stay on and cover longer hours. So we really want to acknowledge to colleagues who always turn up, we want to say, yep, we really appreciate this. And also it does deal with this issue where sometimes colleagues who always turn up and are feeling slightly aggrieved by those that don't, at least they know they're earning 6% um, on top of their normal pay rates. Um, and those colleagues that don't turn up on a regular basis, you know, please do. It's a lot more money that you can earn. And by not turning up, you will not be helping to support individuals. You will not be supporting your colleagues. Um, and it's just not great. And, you know, the world is about being responsible and we really do ask you to take responsibility and put the individuals and your colleagues first. So having covered that, let's talk about the new jobs board on Zone Standard. We have created a new jobs board for internal roles. There are 90 plus roles. And I think what's really exciting is that we're offering dual roles. So rather than if we need somebody in resourcing or recruitment um, or learning and development, rather than going out and recruiting a full time role, we are much happier to find a colleague who is working on the floor um, in one of the homes and to say, would you like to do one or two days a week in one of these specialist roles? And that's just a great way to better understand the organization. Even if it doesn't work out, particularly you get to understand the organisation, but also it will maybe possibly unlock one of your talents that you talents that you did not know or an interest that you didn't know. So we are all about making loads and loads of opportunities for everybody because we know that growing uh, different roles and people to fill those roles within the organisation is the best way to do it because we have a fantastic culture and you are that culture um, and supporting the individual. So it's very hard to find that commitment for somebody coming in from outside. All right, in that same sort of vein, um, we learned during lockdown, uh, there are a lot of issues around transport and so on. So we have created our own transport service. Um, and I know that in January, there were 1500 bookings um, for colleagues needing to get in. That was really important because there is not good public transport. And this allows us to be able to cover out of hours type shifts as well. So that actually represents presented over 400 care hours that were delivered by those colleagues who actually arrived via transport. So it is showing that this is a very powerful way of actually improving the, the reliability of our services and getting the right people at the right time to the right place with the right individual, which makes their life much, much more interesting and better. OK, on that happy note, we are an a highly innovative organisation. And on that basis, I would like to wish you a great weekend and a fantastic week and catch up with you next week. All the very best.